Hi, this is Aaron Wiedekamp. Today I'm going to be demonstrating uh, the quick start installation of Atomic Registry. We have a landing page here that points to documentation for administrators to get started using a single VM. And this is a container-based installation. You can just run a container and get the registry. Uh, here's the installation steps here. I'm going to be adding a, uh, an IP address since my, um, the host name of my machine does not resolve outside. Um, so simply re addressing it with the IP address is, um, is what I'm going to be doing this morning. And we'll kick off the installation. I'm going to be showing you just a little bit about the, in another tab, a little bit about the environment while that's running. This is a Red Hat Atomic Host. This is running Docker. Uh, 1.9 and the atomic CLI is optional, but it is um, You know provides a wrapper around the run and install labels so that you can use a really simple syntax um, so what's happened is several images have been pulled down and um, Some configuration files have landed uh, What we're going to do now is run so atomic run the registry uh, quick start, and this is also going to pass in the IP address. Uh, I can refer to the, um, this is the third step. In between, optionally, you could configure uh, authentication and some other options, but uh, we, uh, it's really an optional thing. Today, we'll just um, get it going. While that is running, um, it is starting up several services. Um, I can show you. Um, the configuration that landed is an Etsy origin. This is an OpenShift based technology, so or OpenShift origin. In the master, there is a master configuration file. Anytime you edit this file, um, let's say uh, you want to change like an authentication um, can setting or something. Um, it, it ships uh, with any password provider, meaning any username or password can, can be used. Whenever you, whenever you uh, change that file, you simply need to do sudo docker restart origin, and it will uh, read in the, the configuration. So it says our registry is hosted here. Um, we're going to go to a browser and a new tab. And here we have Atomic Registry connecting to the OpenShift OAuth provider um, for authentication. I'm going to restart this. This is what's uninstalled. Okay, it's a new certificate. Um, so there's actually two services. They do not use the same uh, self-signed certs. We get on um, the second, when we hit the OAuth server, we get a second um, uh, insecure connection. Do you trust this? Uh, warning, we'll, we'll combine those so that we don't get that. The uh, username and password, you can use any username, any password. So just go ahead and log in with, with any username or password. And here we are. Um, Atomic Registry is um, an authenticated registry. So you, in order to you know, push an image, you need to do a Docker login. So here you can copy this command right into your uh, terminal window. You can create a new project, which is basically like a repository um, type of uh, construct, and um, there it is. So go try it out, let us know, and uh, thanks for watching.